welcome to my last semester in first year. I'm never going to be a first year undergrad student ever again. Yes, I know that's deep and it is part of growing up. I'm Lana. <laughs> I'm Maria. <laughs> so guys, they're taking me to the uni and I'm so excited because it looks really cool. There were many good times and bad times, but I've come to realize that those bad times are part of the journey and that they make you stronger in every way. I remember trying my best to make sure that my first year will be excellent and fun. And yes, there were moments where I'm super grateful to be at university, to meet such amazing people knowing that I will become who I want to be in the future and do what I want to do. Your first year may not go smoothly. I remember in first semester moving to a new city on my own and feeling lonely not knowing anyone or being close to anyone. Friendships and social circles do take effort and time that should be well spent and soon you will find your people. Settling in is one of the main reasons why your first year is very important. Getting used to the university system, you get no mark schemes to pass papers, you have to ask lecturers on how to answer specific questions, there are no mock written exams, you might have exams or assignments that roll one after another. You'll learn how to budget, finding out that you've spent way too much in first year and then becoming more attentive in second and third year, knowing when to go out and when not to. You will find that university life doesn't have a closed timetable. Events, social events, activities, give it a go sessions can happen week after week. Of course, if you're not a social person, then things such as these won't affect you. As a more introverted person, through pushing myself to go to the social events that is in my field of interest definitely helped me to experience meeting all kinds of students with different motives, personalities and it was very scary at first but by the end of the year you'll see how much you develop socially and grown and areas you can improve so take those opportunities and those chances while you can.
I'm that type of person who loves to recharge my social battery by spending quality time with myself, having self-care days, and also quality time with God. So time to talk about exam season. Semester three is when you're pushed into the deep end. I'm so excited to use it. And you suddenly have many assignments, group assignments, practicals, you have coursework to do, online exams. Guys, so I've got my projector running. It does have this noise though. But if you put some like ambient music or like lo-fi music while you study, honestly worth it. So for me, I had clinical exams, group assignments, dispensing practicals, real-time coursework, online exams, and the big one, seven written exams. So guys, we Bear in mind, I haven't done any written exams since A-levels, which was a year ago. So it was very challenging and nerve-wracking at first. However, one of the best things was knowing that I wasn't alone and that there are many people going through the same things that I'm going through. Many students out there in the world as well that are doing this along with me. Exam season can be isolating. You could be either at home studying in your room or in the library trying to get everything done in a short amount of time and learning how to cook quick meals. Guys, we got sushi. Let's go boba, boba fix. <laughs> I did put in the work throughout the year, however, the way I set it out and the specific technique I used wasn't efficient when it came to exams, which led to many stresses, cramming and lack of sleep. Yep, that's me behind the scenes. I'm gonna go early, it is 6.15 right now. Oh, 6.15 right now and I woke up really early. I'm gonna head to the library. These days I've been trying to get productive like at home, in the library. I've been trying to go to the library like four hours a day and then doing like maybe an extra two hours, three hours at home. So it's kind of been a little bit challenging, but thankfully like this week I have to do with friends and it has helped a lot. Yeah, so I do have seven exams, I have one next week and I'm not that excited but I'm gonna try my best. This is normal and burnout is normal. Now I know what to do and not to do for next year and next year I'll become a lot more prepared. Talking to other course mates has been very relieving too as you will realize that they are going through the same things as you. So yes, take breaks, Go out with friends, even if it's something simple like grabbing food together, walking to the park, or a simple phone call.
this season did feel like a drag and it felt like forever. So hey guys, we are walking to our exam. We're a bit nervous, but we're trying to find our way there. So nervous, but we can do that. So, as I'm back home and I just finished, she really said spider lashes right now. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go to the library. Hi, guys. So, welcome to cooking with me and Eunice. Time was going so slow and also seeing other students leaving to go home early because they finished with their course. I'm still here having many more weeks to go and this is quite demotivating. So my main tip is stay consistent. Exam, guys. We finished, guys. I literally woke up like so early, like at 4 a.m. That's why I'm like so tired right now. But having a morning exam, getting it done and over with is the best feeling ever. Yeah, God really just sustains me throughout this long exam period journey. Although I do have a few university videos of first year, I like to keep those as memories. Thank you for following me along with my journey and this journey and there'll be more to come.